Jeg er den første mann. Hi everyone, you're here on the Cowboy and the Viking Show, and I am sitting here with Mr. Larry Payne, who owns the Old Delina Country Store. Larry, thanks for having us out here today. Well, thank you for coming out. Enjoy having you anytime. We've been here, we've been here before, always had a great time, great food, best burgers in Tennessee, I can attest to that personally. So what's what's going on here lately? You have any events coming up? Or? Well, we've got uh, we got Toys for Tots coming up the end of September. Uh, that'll be our third year doing it. Each year gets a little bit bigger and a little bit better. And of course, we we do it for the kids. I mean, this yeah. as I know advertisement. Around, we do this strictly for the kids of Lincoln County, Marshall County, and Giles County. Uh, we've got a, a motorcycle ride uh, as part of that. We're going to go over to a winery and do a little wine tasting and, and then come back here and we've got a silent auction. Uh, people donated a bunch of things to be auctioned off and, uh, and then we're going to try to have a cruise in with some cars and stuff like that. It's just a good day to get together. It's a, a Saturday and we'll just get together and have a good time and uh, you know it, it, 
it all benefits the kids. Uh, last year we gave them eight boxes of toys and, and hundreds of dollars, and uh, it just you know it's one of them make you feel good type things. Yeah. Yeah, so we enjoy that. Hopefully, um, hopefully this year you can surpass that. Well, well, that's that's the goal every year to beat what we did last year. So and and that's, uh, that's a good cause too. Uh, and of course, you know we already know that you know Cowboy and Viking are going to be part of this too. We're going to get yep, involved, that, and that's we're a fact. proud and honored to be a part we're of gonna, it. Too. We're going to either have a little flatbed trailer out here on the side, and you can set up on there and just play to your heart's content. And, uh, we're kind of doing like an open mic. Anybody wants to come out, come out and, and sing away. Mm -hmm. I mean, for five minutes, one song, or two hours, or however long you want to be here. We just hope the weather's going to cooperate because. Two of the three years we've done it, the weather's just been lousy. Yeah. So, but you can't control the weather. So that's true. Uh, that's true. But anyway, we we're kind of doing that. We got that coming up. Uh, there's uh, we get quite a few motorcycle clubs come through here. Uh, we had one last Wednesday. We got some coming up next weekend, and uh, and they come out here anywhere from five to fifteen motorcycles. And, have lunch and take pictures at the store, and it, it's kind of a, a unique picture opportunity. Mm -hmm. We uh, we, en we enjoy it. I mean, we have fun with it. Uh, if I was serious about it, I wouldn't be in the business. He told me that. Well, what were you thinking when you bought that store? And I'm going. I wasn't thinking. I guess because now I found out that yeah, it is work. And we kind of. We have fun with it though, you know, my daughter manages it, mm -hmm. she fires me every week uh, <laughs> and then takes me back. Um, my wife does all the antique stuff, yeah. uh, I don't do antiques but she does and uh, it was just, you know, kind of neat when we first started to get the store, I bought it about four years ago and uh, I was sitting down on the couch with her one night and I'm going, well, you know, I think I'm going to buy that store up there. And we don't live far from here, just down the road. And the guy was going to tear it down if he didn't sell it. Mm -hmm. So she gives me these two hands up like you get when you're talking to kids and everything. She says, Larry, I don't want nothing to do with it. You buy that store, it's your store. I'm not coming up there. I'm not helping up there. I'm not volunteering up there. I'm not cooking up there. Yeah. She says, you get that store, it's your store. So a couple of days later, I came to terms with the guy. and I told her, I said, well, I bought this store. And she's going, so it wasn't a week after I had this store, I looked out the door and here she is backing up to the front steps with a pickup truck full of antiques. <laughs> so I figured, turn around's fair play, I walk out on the front porch and I give her this, whoa, where are you going? <laughs> and she's going, I'm decorating. I said, I don't think so. I said, you're not allowed in my store. <laughs> We've been married 42 years at that time and you know how long that lasted. Yeah, uh, yeah. So she's decorated the store, and I got to say, if she wasn't here and didn't decorate, it wouldn't be half of what it is. She's done a, just a great job. Uh, so anyway, it's just kind of kind of neat. So it's a big family. Uh, we've made some good friends, and that's probably the best part about being out here is the people are so friendly. Yeah. I just I love the people out here, and I can imagine with all the people that come by here and. Uh, groups and clubs that make this a regular stop on their weekend adventures yep. or during the week or whenever they're just blowing through yep. and you make connections and you network and you make relationships too and you build on those things and that's valuable and rewarding. Yeah. Well and we advertise the places somewhere in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. which we are. I mean it's like eight miles to the nearest anything. Uh, which is a you know Dollar General up over the hill in another right, town. Right. But other than that, we're kind of in the middle of, of nowhere out here. We don't have cell phone service most of the time. We don't have internet. So when you come here, you sit down just like you did in 1995, and you carry on a conversation with people at your table and the table next day and the table next day, and find out that you're related through a third cousin on the second hand <laughs> side. And, everybody that comes in here, yeah. it's hilarious. So, well, I know it's worth the drive out here, it definitely is. So this is a very special place, and it's a very friendly, very laid back and relaxed attitude here. It's just a nice place to come, it really is. Yeah, we've enjoyed every time we've been here. We do catfish on Fridays. Uh, we used to do catfish and frog legs, but not till frog legs come back down into a reasonable price. But 
that's another story, but we do catfish on Friday, and about one or two Fridays out of the month we'll have uh, one or two people sitting in here with a guitar and a banjo singing a couple songs, and we call that live entertainment. And then, uh, <laughs> then we got sometimes Saturday karaoke, yeah. which is if you want to sing karaoke, I got a karaoke machine with a hundred CDs, and I'll put you up there and you can sing to your heart's content, or until we chase you out, whichever comes whichever first. Comes first yeah. <laughs> So, but we have, you know, we just have fun with it, and my main job is just talk to people. I go in and, uh, you know, I've been, I spent 21 years in the Air Force and 20 years selling stuff, and uh, now this is the longest I've lived in any one place my whole life. And uh, so I just, I sit down and talk to people.
We are back on the Cowboy and the Viking at the Old Delina Country Store, and I am sitting here with Jack Payne, who manages the store. How are things going here today, Jack? Great. <laughs> Busy. Same old, same old. How long have you been running the store? About four years now. Four years. Mm -hmm. And your dad owns the store. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You bought it about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And you guys have just been slowly but surely building that business and gaining customers, making relationships more than more important than anything. Yeah, it, it's it's more about yeah the the lasting relationships, the atmosphere, the friends that that end up lifelong friends. So, what are your responsibilities here? What do you do? I do day to day. Uh, my dad does the books more than anything else. He stays home. He's kind of on call if we need him. Um, I'm here almost every day. I do the grocery shopping, the orders, um, take in the deliveries, do the hiring, the firing, uh, mainly management stuff. You wear a lot of hats now. Yeah. Well, that's good. It keeps you busy. <laughs> yeah, it does. We, you know, since we've been coming here, uh, and we found the place accidentally, mm -hmm. you know, we're so happy we did too because we just love here. Yeah. And since we have, since we have been coming here, you know, we've, we've had great food. Great company. Everyone here is wonderful. The customers are wonderful. It's one of the warmest and most welcoming atmospheres I've ever been in the country so far. I like saying it's not the the food is a big draw, but most people that come here and come back, they it's the atmosphere. They feel like they're at home, and that's what we want you to. I mean, no no cell phones, no Wi-Fi. Um, you know, it's taking a step back in time. We're we'll know your name before you walk out the door, and we'll see you at Walmart or anywhere else and we'll wave hi and you'll always come back and feel like family. The world would be a better place if a lot more people were like that. <laughs> yeah. Too much time on cell phones. Yeah, yeah. So on Friday, you have sort of a special menu. Catfish and gator. Um, every Friday we have coleslaw and hot slaw, hush puppies, white beans, baked potatoes. But well, we haven't been here on Friday. Uh, I think we're going to have to come. Over. Definitely. And we're also, of course, we're going to be here on September 29th. Mm -hmm. so Toys for Tots have been going. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is the, it'll be the third annual Toys for Tots. Um, we, it, it's getting a little bit bigger each year. Um, and we put on a bike ride for motorcycles, not bicycles, but motorcycles. Um, and they um, go to a specific destination. Uh, this year it is a winery in Lewisburg. And we also have a classic car rat rod show to where people get best in show, uh, most original, most unique. Um, we collect toys um, and donations and sponsors and everything we collect, everything we do, even uh, a portion of our sales on the store that day, all go to Toys for Tots, which is uh, the Marine Corps sponsor. Um, it, it buys presents uh, for kids that wouldn't have a Christmas if not. Um, so uh, it's, it's near and dear to our heart. You know, everybody's had struggles growing up and um, ha having kids that are um, I, I, it, it's it, it's near and dear. So um, everything goes to benefit the kids, and we try to. We really want to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, it's a great cause, that's for sure. And yeah. we are very proud and honored that we're going to be a part of it this year. We're looking forward to it. We are too. We are too. Hopefully, it's going to be even bigger than last year, and just keep growing and growing, and be more successful in this country to help out kids. Because that's the thing we do. Yeah. Now you have a lot of antiques here too. Mm -hmm. Those are uh, my mother's. She she's been she's one of those people that can. You hear stories on the news about people going to Goodwill and buying a painting for five dollars and having it appraised and it be worth like one point five million dollars. My mom's always been able to find the diamond in in the rough per se, and uh, she does with the antiques. Um, she brought them in. It was her idea to put them on the shelves. Um, and I didn't know how well they would, you know, sell. And a lot of them are conversation pieces. People will come in and say, "Well, you know, we had this when we were going growing up, or we had this," and it's taken off to people that are in the community that grew up in the community bring us in antiques, and they say, "Well." 
This was, you know, we have a typewriter and um, it belonged to a man that passed away and his mother owned the store, his grandmother owned the store in mid-1900s. Um, and she said, I think it would be neat if it stayed with the store. So those we don't sell, those we, work, they're part of the store. We try to keep them together. Yeah, so anyway, uh, like about the antiques, like I said, your mother collecting all of these and bringing all of these into the store had to have spent a lot of time doing it. She does, but it's a, she enjoys her, her day trips. She goes out once or twice a week, and Dad unfortunately hands her some money, and she comes back with a truckload of, of, of treasures. It, it really is. And there, there are a lot of treasures here, too. I mean, like you said, people walk in and they say, oh, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I've walked through here and looked, looked at a lot of the things that are sitting around here, and I've said the same thing to Brad. We had one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, there's... It's, it's um, good to look at those things and to bring back those memories. It really is. It is. There's, there's quite a few things that actually are, are my family's things. Um, my grandfather that passed away, my dad's father, his suitcase from when he was a boy is, is, is on one of the shelves. And uh, my mother's scooter when she was little is on one of the shelves. So there's a lot of them that are here too that, that have meaning to me too. So it's neat. Most, most, there's not many places like this and most people just, they haven't experienced anything like this. Not just the antiques, but the store, the atmosphere, the hardwood floor. You know, one of the biggest questions is the heater. Um, you know, the pot belly stove, do we use it? Well, around here, that's a job requirement. You know, for my girls to be able to work here by themselves, especially during winter, if they want to stay warm, they have to build and keep the fire going all day. So it's it's a step back in time, and it's just it's simpler, and you know everything. It, it's amazing. Well, simple is good. Mm -hmm. uh, complicated is what our world has become. Mm -hmm. Simple is no stress. You know that that that's the name of my parents' farm down there is the Simple Pleasures Farm because really? it's the simple oh. pleasures in life that mean the most. That's yeah. true. They do. Well, we've had a lot of people in and out of here today. We've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of people, and you know the customers are just wonderful as everyone that works here. Everyone is friendly and engaging, and we've had nothing but a great time here. And we're looking forward to coming back again, and certainly coming back on the 29th to be part of the Toys for Tots thing. Cowboy and the Viking are going to be there supporting that for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hopefully it'll help and not drive people away. So, <laughs> we'll hope for the best. <laughs> I, I think it'll be great. Me too. I think it'll be a good time. Yeah. Here's a quarter. Call someone who cares. Travis Tritt. I am here again with Larry Payne. Old Delina Country Store, and Larry's going to tell you something about the history of this store. Let him have it, Larry. Thanks. Okay. Well, my name's Larry, and you are here at the Old Delina Country Store. Uh, the store is in the middle of downtown Delina, which is really the only diner in Delina. Uh, that's us. Uh, built in 1892, the store's probably had 20 owners or more, uh, and I'm the last one. I've had about four years. The store's been through a lot during that time from 1892 on. Uh, it was a, been some kind of a store uh, for the whole time, except for about 12 or 14 years, it was actually used to store hay. Um, so we, we kind of took it over here a few years back and uh, we did a lot of work to it. Uh, one of the couple of things that we did is we, we have to put barn wood all over the wall because the wood had fallen off the walls so uh, we put barn wood all over the walls and I uh, remember my my wife is the, the motivator behind the whole thing she says I want to put barn wood on the wall so I told her I would find a barn and we'd get barn wood and two days later she comes in and she says I already found a barn I'm going what you didn't even give me time so she's a uh, she is an impatient person and I'm a procrastinator. Uh, and I firmly believe that the good book says that good things come to those who wait, so procrastination can't be bad. So anyway, she comes in and she has wood put on the wall and then we, 
found tin, so we put tin on the ceiling, came off of an old 1800s farmhouse down the, the road here, and it's the same story there. She says, I want to put tin on the ceiling. And I said, okay, I'll find us an old house, and two days later, she's got an old house. Uh, she comes down, going, I haven't even looked yet. But, um, so she keeps on doing this kind of stuff, but uh, one thing that, you, that you'll like about this is that she always wanted to paint the name of the store, Old Delina Country Store, uh, on an old barn door. So again, I told her, well, I'll find an old barn door. Three days later, she comes in. I got one, it's laying out next to the building. I'm gonna paint the name of the store on it. So she starts painting the name of the store on it, and I'm in here talking to customers, and she comes in, she says, Larry, I need you to come out and put a piece of wood on the end of the sign. I'm going, what for? She said, well, I ran out of room. So if you're here and you take a picture of the old Delina Country store sign that's hanging up out front, you'll notice that store is missing the E. So we're the old Delina Country stove, or we're the old Delina Country store, and we're in the country and the E is silent, so we don't need it anyway. Uh, so you'll notice that in some of our stuff. Um, and every once in a while you hear somebody say, Go Cowboys, go Viking! And uh, so that's just neither here nor there, but you'll hear it every once in a while. Um, other than that, we just, we have fun with it. We've done some work to fix it up. Uh, and you know, that's, that's just a store. And we're somewhere in the middle of nowhere till we got on Facebook. At least half the people that came in the front door were lost. And they were looking for someplace else. So uh, we are somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, so now people look for us and they follow the GPS until there's no GPS signal. And then they got the last two or three miles, they just got to, you know, go on faith that they can find it. piece of a song from the movie Deliverance. What for? Because there's alligator here. Real alligator? Yeah. But at the Delina Country Store, it comes with fries. We have to taste that. You can taste that. Me? Oh yeah. I'll have one of the best burgers in Tennessee. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Cowboy and the Viking. This song's for you, Janet. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs>
out in the country and while we were out here at the old Delina country store we found what we call a fixer-upper it's gonna take a little work but we're willing to put the time and effort in <laughs> okay. welcome to the old Delina country store hey bye. Bye. <laughs> so sweet. 